Hi, thanks for watching. Time for a three card tarot draw for the sign of Aquarius. And I'm asking for this card, uh, for three cards please, for the week of uh, April the 22nd to the 28th, 2019. And that starts on Easter Monday. So a card please for that week for the sign of Aquarius um, for April 22nd to the 28th, 2019. And then two more cards for it. <laughs> so three cards all together please uh, for the sign of Aquarius for the week April 22nd to 28th 2019 okay let's see what we've got all right okay oh okay this is having certain resonances with uh, you know cards I've drawn for the other signs here and uh, it's taking me though in in a almost predictable direction and uh, that word predictable is uh, quite a thing for Aquarians to be hearing at the moment because nothing has been uh, predictable, has it, for quite some time. Still, uh, we actually have the Libra full moon uh, on Good Friday, so uh, that's brought a great, uh, a great degree of balance into the world. Uh, so things are either balancing or have balanced already. It's going in that direction, and it's actually the second chance uh, to have that this year. It's the second Libra full moon of the year, and we don't always get to two in a year. So, you know, that is really very positive. The first tarot card I've drawn of this spread is Justice, okay? It's a very stern-looking figure. Um, it's a masculine energy, most certainly. Uh, could be a man who's come along to help. This depends on you. It really depends very much on the person who's actually reading this. Uh, the most important interpretation of this reading is the one you make of it my friends that's uh, super important and uh, I'm drawn to the difference between uh, this and um... oh it's gone never mind it would come back if it was meant to look at this great big purple curtain it's uh, blocking out what's behind it's impossible to see what is on the other side of justice here which by the way is number 11 um, so it's kind of, you know, it's a little bit more than completion we're looking at. This is the next steps after completion. Could this, Aquarius, be throwing your plans out the window, eh? Because we don't actually know what is on the other side of that purple grey. It's a healing colour, it's a good colour, but we can't see what's on the other side of it. But we can see that healing purple is part of the process. And we can see great shining gold, uh, almost a fiery gold. There's some fire up in the top of it here. Um, so it's, you know, not necessarily going to be an easy transition, but it's really worth getting to the other side of that justice, that sense of balance that's coming in at the moment. And uh, Aquarius, if your plans have gone awry because of that, fear not, okay, because uh, you are actually just being taken on a journey rather than going on it yourself. Uh, the sword goes straight up in this one and he's wearing a golden crown. I'm also seeing the green of nature here. Uh, so do take some time in nature if it all gets too much. Good advice for anybody that. And uh, look at this redness here. It's time to get moving. It's time to go forward. Okay, Aquarius. And the middle card for you then, the four of pentacles. And, uh, you know, there's some concern with this character, most certainly, but it's a very solid four square situation um, as far as money. And I'm going to say roundedness as well, just things kind of working out, things flowing smoothly. It's a good time for that, but uh, you can hold on to these things a little bit too tightly. Uh, there may be a trickster around is what I'm feeling. That's not always the, uh, the initial meaning of this card, but that's what's just come to me. Um, so look out Aquarius for uh, people who, uh, this isn't about trying to take your money at all, this, this is kind of people interrupting the flow, distractions, spiritual distractions, people telling you kind of you've got to do what this spiritual teacher says rather than what your spirit guides are telling you, so link in and uh, be close to that Aquarius, okay, there's purple all around, I'm seeing a great purple mist there, which always suggests to me that uh, spirit beings are close around us, they always are actually, actually, but it's significantly worth mentioning at that point, okay? They never leave us. That's the thing to remember, Aquarius. Okay, so now on to the last of the three cards in this spread, and it's the Two of Cups. It shows a lot of potential, this card. It also, so, uh, it also shows that uh, the healing magic is out there somewhere, is above the situation, is on top of the situation. So the healing comes in thick and fast when this card comes up. Excuse me. I can't. It's because I can't um, edit video. You see, this this sort of thing happens, right? Mm. That's better. Okay. So healing energy is there, which I could do with with my uh, sneezing fit that I seem to be having there. Uh, it's close at hand, though. 
and it's powerful and it's going to work and it shows that things are going to work out uh, not just that they're going to work out but that there is potential going forward and that is very very characteristic of the way things are going for all the signs this week it's just the, the general thrust of astrology so don't fear when the scales of justice is swinging Aquarius all is going to be good around that I'm just going to break off now before we go into the oracle card for Aquarius to uh, to show you this wand as an earthy kind of theme to things this week, which is appropriate. And uh, this wand is something I'm going to give away to a lucky subscriber. So get subscribing, guys, and tap the bell so you don't miss anything. It's made from a very wild-grained piece of sycamore, which I just uh, picked up and dried out and carved to shape. Um, it's got, because uh, it's got such earthy energy, I wanted to put something uplifting on either end. So we've got a silver lace agate ball there, which is more beautiful than it looks in my camera. And it does look very nice in my camera, actually. And uh, also, this uh, raw quartz point, uh, which is fixed in here with two little bits of celestite to raise the energy yet again. Okay, so I'm going to give this away to a subscriber. I'll post it anywhere in the world. Uh, just subscribe, basically, and uh, leave me a comment is a good idea as well. But just subscribing, just subscribing will get you there. Dear me, I need lots of water today. Hmm. And uh, let's actually take that water thing as part of the uh, as part of the reading, because um, you know we, we've come up on the idea of uh, unnecessary interruptions in readings for other signs, and I think the justice intervention is going to seem like an unnecessary interruption. But it's a time of simplicity. The numbers here go from eleven to four to two, so things are calming, um, which means it's a better time than ever to drink more water in spiritual terms. Okay, uh, get in touch with the grounding, the protection, the healing light within. Uh, but be near water if you can be. Certainly drink water. It keeps things flowing ever so nicely. Right, so back to it. I'll ring the uh, ring the angel bell and make sure everything's cool and groovy there. Um, okay, so I'm shuffling now and I'm asking for an oracle card, please, for more clarity for the sign of Aquarius for the week, uh, April 22nd to 28th, 2019. And what have we here? Odin. Psychic insight. All oh, right, so we're back with the psychic theme again, Aquarius, and that is something that you do very well, I know. Uh, well, run with it, because we've got Odin here. He's talking about psychic insight, and what's he saying? Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. And so this is it, psychic insight, but follow it. It's important. Odin is a very forceful character, regarded as a god of war in some cultures, and actually a very popular character in uh, Wales, UK, where I live and where this reading's coming from. Uh, there's a place near here called Achter Odin, which is uh, the mountain of Odin. Uh, he's taken very seriously, and he's a very, very serious character. Okay, so this is where psychic insight becomes super important and needs to be followed. And I want to say to you, Aquarius, uh, follow everything, you know, from your vision. Um, we've got to do some evaluating. God gave us a mind and uh, the source of all this wonderful information expects us to process it in some way. But if you kind of do kind of two thirds of the job, but not the final third, you might as well not have done any. OK, so it's, it's a question of getting down to it, uh, Aquarius, really important. Um, I'm feeling a certain amount of emotion around this week as well, uh, particularly where justice comes into play and also spiritually around the uh, the Four of Pentacles card there. Um, it's a tricky one. It, it's a tricky one for all the signs. There's a, a lot of positivity indicated and uh, for many of us, the good news, the real wonderful stuff isn't about to happen just yet, but it's so close, close but no cigar. That, my friends is my prediction for Aquarius for the week, April 22nd to the 28th, 2019. Have a happy Easter, whatever you're doing. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, you know what to do. Um, subscribe and tap the bell. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers and uh, tap the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay. And uh, leave me a comment, guys. We'll share the journey because uh, that's a very precious part of doing YouTube. 
Um, it's a funny thing because YouTube is run by a psychotic robot which will kind of say or do anything it feels like and uh, it's very unpredictable. You just never know what it's going to do uh, next. But somehow it unites people, it brings people together and it would be wonderful to get back to doing those uh, psychic live sessions. So uh, do subscribe if you haven't already folks. <clears throat> Excuse me, thanks again for watching, I'm going to drink more water, you do too. Okay, happy, have a great week, bye, peace.